Hey YouTubers, good morning. This is Rob Muffet. Guys, this video is a comparison of my favorite Blue Yeti microphone and a $2 lavalier microphone that I converted into a desk microphone, sort of like the Blue Yeti, which I'm going to be giving the name Red Muffet. <laughs> if they can call theirs Blue Yeti, I'll call mine Red Muffet. I think you're going to be kind of surprised at the comparison. Now, the Blue, Blue Yeti is a wonderful mic. Mine cost about 80 bucks last year on sale, and it's about $129 today. It's quite a bit. But it works flawlessly and gives a super great sound. I highly recommend it as a desk mic. And about a few, few weeks ago, I, uh, I bought some, some lapel or lavalier microphones on Amazon. They were just about two bucks a piece. I wanted to experiment and use them to make some hydrophones and record some underwater sounds. I'll be posting the hydrophone videos later, and I'll give you more information in the text area below this video. But now, when I tested these $2 lavalier microphones on my shirt, on my collar, they gave very inconsistent results. I discovered that the quality depended on the exact placement of the microphone. And part of the reason, I think, is the, the lapel microphone has a very small opening, which distorts the sound if it's not placed precisely. So I decided to make a desk microphone out of the, the lavalier mic so I keep the placement perfect and constant and see what quality I got then. So what I did is I made a very simple stand from a stick of red clay and stick, which accounts for the name I gave it, Red Moffet, from the red clay. The, the desk mic works very simply. It's just, just for fun. And um, I placed an egg cart behind it just to see what happened, if it would reduce some of the flatness of noise I was getting from the sound bouncing off the wall behind the mic. You don't have to do it, but, uh, but it's just something I, I did. You might see if it'll improve your results. And currently, all the audio you've been hearing has been with my Blue Yeti microphone. Now, after this point, all the audio will be from the Red Moffet microphone, the desk microphone I made, and you can hear the difference. And later, plus I'll record another sample of Blue Yeti at the end. So I hope you guys give this a try. If you need a very low-cost desk mic, I think you'll be surprised. The following is the audio from the $2 desk mic. All the stuff you hear from Mount Allen is going to be from the $2 desk mic, and not the Blue Yeti. Okay, YouTubers, this is the sound quality I'm getting from the $2 microphone, or the Red Moffet, as I'm calling it. It's a desk microphone with a little $2 lavalier or lapel microphone. And the quality is not as good as the Blue Yeti. There is a little background hiss I can hear, and it's a little bit more flat. It's not as full as the, as the Yeti, but I'm, I'm kind of surprised for $2. It's not bad. Like I said, when it was used as a lapel microphone, the quality was very inconsistent. But now that I place it perfectly with the microphone stand I made with the stick and the clay, I think it makes a pretty decent little desk microphone if you don't have one. And for $2, you can't go wrong. For $6, you get three of them, uh, shipping included on Amazon Prime. So you're going to have two left over. I'm, I'm making some of mine into uh, hydrophones. So we'll see how that goes. More information is in the box below. Okay, this is enough of the sample. I'm babbling on here, guys. I'll leave with a little sample once again from the Blue Yeti, and you can hear the difference. And I uh, want you to know, guys, thanks for watching my video. And I have new videos every week, and I've got over 400 mostly do-it-yourself videos and a lot of interesting playlists on my channel. Hope you check them out. All right, guys, here's the final uh, Blue Yeti um, uh, sample. You can tell the difference between the two. Hope this helps. Hey YouTubers, this is an audio test of the Blue Yeti microphone. We're going to be comparing it to a $2 microphone. So right now we're hearing the audio quality we're getting with the Blue Yeti microphone and the pop filter.